Hi everyone, in this video we will continue what we've done in the previous video. In the previous video we hard coded the value that we wanted the user to enter numbers based on the value 4. We can also let the user decide this value. So I'm going to declare another integer variable called limit and I could have put in limit on its own line as well like this. So it is really up to you um, where you want to place it. I'm going to keep this here because it's kind of related to this value. Um, I usually declare them on different lines if the limit is totally different to what numbers meant to be doing. Um, in this situation they kind of work together so I'm going to keep it like this. I will have to ask the user to um, to enter the limit. So I could say um, so see out and give the user a message um, how many numbers would you like to enter? Let's terminate that with a semicolon and then I will have C in and put in the limit there. Now every time I'm referring to the value for, I'm going to actually be referring to limit instead. So we've used it here, this is going to be based on how many numbers the user decides. So if the user says 5, this will run 5 times. And the sum now is going to be divided by that limit. So we'll have a average value depending on the sum um, divided by the number of item, uh, the number of numbers or the limit that was entered by the user. So let's compile this program. So 4, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So this works exactly like it did in the previous pro program because we've written 4. So let's do something different. So let's do um, 6 numbers this time. And we could start with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Giving us an average of 3.5. Which is correct. So I hope this was helpful for you. Um, and I'll see you in the next video.